Hello everyone, my name is Cole Faison, and welcome back to more Kirby Squeak Squad. In the last episode, we started off World 6 Ice Island, and we got through levels 1, 2, and 3. And in this episode, we're going to be finishing up Ice Island by doing level 4, the secret level, level 5, and taking on the boss of Ice Island. Yeah, uh, I made a mistake. I thought there was only 6 levels. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so, but in fact, there's actually like... Seven altogether if you include the boss, so yeah, my bad, but the good thing is for you guys is that it'll be a longer video, I guess. So yeah, I didn't know there was level five, my bad. Anyway, so let's get started with level four. Woo! Bubba, give me your butt, your suds. No, 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 eat that. All right, so we're gonna collect some fire and a sword. Now, now, since we have the sword scroll ability, we can actually combine our sword with fire to make a fire sword! Hell yeah, man! So this is the fire sword. It's just on fire! It's kind of cool when you go in the water, there's no fire. It's just the regular sword. But yeah, this is... This is cool, and there's other elemental swords we can make. No. Alright, let me get down here. There we go. Go down here. Get launch yourself. Kill that guy, and there's our first chest. He could have gotten the bubble ability and hit the little bomb block there, but I don't know. That's the way they wanted you to do it, so it's like, okay, I guess I'll follow you. Uh, anyways, how's everybody's day? My day's okay. It's like three in the morning, I guess. Yeah, should go to bed. <laughs> Probably will soon. But I want to watch Alien vs. Predator 2. Anyways, did I mention these enemies? I think I did. Those are twisters. I feel like I'm losing my mind. All right. Anyways, let's chug along here. Oh, my thumb kind of hurts. Uh, we got a new enemy for this episode. Oh god, it's fallen! Ah. Oh, here's a mid boss, Foxy. Oh no, I don't think so, pig. Matt. Oh, damn it! Does a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, the thing gives you magic, I believe. Ah, yeah, whatever, anyways. Wait, right, they're here, they're here, they're here. Uh, just. Oh, Uja! Yeah. Sh These things are so weird, Ujas. It's like, oh shit, he was about to stab me. No, don't stab me. Uh. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. They just appear like, oh! Um, I guess I'll take the bomb. Maybe the cape. I really don't want to get rid of the fire. Fire. Fire sword. I was gonna say, fire! It's, <laughs> does anybody remember that video, the cupcake video? Um, by Kelly and O'Shoes and all that shit. They did the muffin one. Like, muffins! And then they're naming off the different kinds of muffins. It was like, uh, like boysenberry, and then like newspaper, and he's like, FIRE! Imaginary muffin. Blood. <laughs> I killed him, and then I fell, and I respawned. It's like, up yours, dude. Alright. Every time I think of Naughty, the sleeping one in this, the sleeping enemy in this game, I think of Naughty Dog, the one that makes Crash Bandicoot, I believe, or they help make Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It's like, Naughty Dog! <sighs> Speaking of Crash Bandicoot games, I kind of miss those games. Man, I don't remember the ones I played. I remember Crash Team Racing, me and my brother used to play. Whenever we went to California, uh, we would play it inside the car because he had the portable screen for the PlayStation. And we would just play Crash Team Racing. Oh my gosh. Those were the old days and I miss it! Um, but, yeah. It was fun. I don't know what happened to that. Anyways, we're gonna have to fight Storo. Just get the hell out of here. Kill him. And to get a chest and get the hell out of here. Oh, I want some meat, baby. With some... A1 steak sauce! Ha! Ah, we got happy notes. A new spray paint. We got the chalk color. And we unlocked the secret level. Because we got the secret door key! Let's go in there right now! <laughs> a 
Anyways, we're gonna have to give up our fire sword, sadly, to get wheelie. Get the wheel ability. Anyways, yeah, I think I mentioned before, well, with the fire, you can run over it. Well, you can also run over the ice! And murder him. Where the fuck are you? Oh, yeah, you better leave. Anyways, yeah, anyways. Yeah, your wheel will turn all icy. Anyways, hit the bomb block and let's get going! Oh my god, it's like speed chasing! We're on cops! One, ah, no. Messed that one up. Damn it. Uh-uh, you're not gonna catch up. There's gonna be a bump here. Yeah, I made it! And getting to the end before the thing covers it up, we'll get our chest. So, woohoo! Alright, Metalin. <laughs> like to know. Oh! No, keep going! Ugh! No, I didn't want that. Ugh, Mini Kirby. Big it! Alright, this is kind of fun, because you're like running over, like, wow! Run with the ice, yeah, so. If you're like, um, if you're. If you're using the wheel ability and you're hitting ice, the little. Oh my god! The little waterfalls will be icy too, but you won't be able to pass it, so. Ah! <gasps> Come on. Ah! <gasps> Maxent meta! <laughs> Anyways. So, we're gonna ride down the waterfall here. And here's a new enemy. This guy's name is Gusa, I believe. Yeah, Gusa, Gusa. I always do that. It's like, I believe it's Gusa, I think. It's like, just go with your gut instincts. Stop second guessing yourself. Anyways. Here is a secret door. Yeah. Oh god, and we gotta save the wallet seat. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god! Oh shit! Oh my gosh, that actually scared me. Anyways, you kill the golden Waddle Dee and get your chest before it commits suicide for whatever reason. Why would you want to commit suicide? Oh my gosh, like a dolphin. <laughs> it just knows against the thing. Anyways, time to take on Spinny. Oh, we can't get this yet. Ugh, oh, okay, I'll use bombs. Ah! Die, bitch. Yeah, we can't get to the exit door until we beat her. And now the camera will move to the right and we can get inside. Damn it! I knew I was gonna miss it! Oh, 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 yeah. Alright! We got the cherry spray paint color. Part of a secret map. Piece of a secret map. And you got part of a ghost medal. Piece of a ghost medal. Carbiza. Shit stain! I don't know. Anyways, on to level five. God, I swear, I'm not funny. Anyways. So, there's ninja. And we have gotten the ninja ability. So I'll show that off in a little. Um, let's combine these. Give my maxim tomato. Anyways, so... We're going to be taking on the Squeak Squad members before actually doing the boss, and there's a reason for that! Anyways, Spinny's up first. Now, with the ninja ability, if you hold B, you'll be like, Wah! and then you let go, and you'll do some fire crazy stuff. Dude, that's like hitting her eye, holy shit. <laughs> Damn, bitch, you should be dead. Ah! So yeah, press and hold B. Anyways, just defeat Spinny, let's get out of here. Um, I just combined it, the two tomatoes to make a new uh, question ability random one. I guess we'll see what we'll get. Oh, we got the invincibility candy. Nice. Okay, let's see what this one is. Man, I was really hoping for ice or electricity. Um. I should just use the candy. Let's just hear that awesome tune. Did it seriously replay it again? Um, I thought it was supposed to end. This is kind of weird. Oh, well, there's fire again. Okay. 
Okay, I was like, whoa, what the hell? I thought it was like glitched out or something with invincibility candy. I thought we were going to be listening to that till the end of the episode or something. Anyways, let's go ahead and defeat Doc. <clears throat> Cards flying him out of my fucking head. It's like, I need assistance. Doc is like not that hard. It's super easy. It's like the easiest one out of all of them. Anyways, we're done. That was super easy. Ha! Oh, yeah, I got a cheeseburger on my fat ass! All the food's gonna go to my thighs! An asshole! Man, we got three big chests. Anyways, we got part of a graphic piece. A piece of a... Char <laughs> puzzle piece. Puzzle! We got a puzzle piece. F of a puzzle. Jesus. Uh, we got the Cupid Scroll ability, and we got the last copy palette. It's a machine. I should go ahead and... I was gonna say install that. Like, this is like a fucking computer or something. Anyways. Uh, where is it? And no! Jeez! Is that machine? I think that is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that one's kind of cool. I actually like that one. But, of course, I like the original better. But, yeah. I'll just keep with the gears and stuff in the background. Um. We didn't unlock a thingy, did we? Oh, yeah, we did. Duh. Okay, yeah, this is chalk. I was like, I knew we unlocked something. And we unlocked cherry, didn't we? Damn. Maybe I'll do that for the next episode. So, uh, well, actually. Hmm. Aw, that's so cute. Okay, I'll use both of them next time, I guess, for the next episode. Um, anyways. Oh, that looks so cool on Kirby with the hat. It's just like old-fashioned, like a 19, early 1900s, like, movie or something. Whatever. Anyways, time to take on the boss of World Ice Island. I should just say Ice Island. I don't want any of these. Time for the sword. Oh, that's so cool. It's just like, it's all gray. That's so awesome. All chalk, whatever. Anyways, this is DeRoge. This is the this is the leader of the Squeak Squads. So yeah, there's a reason why we were taking on the leaders of the Squeak Squad. Oh, before uh, fighting the boss. Anyways, this asshole's gonna drop bombs, vanish around, and he's gonna like swat us with this fucking like star swatter of the hell it is. Ugh. Damn it. If you spin in the air with the fire, it does a lot of damage, especially if you get it multiple times. Ah! I was like, what happened to my t my tomatoes? But I forgot I ugh! I forgot I used them. Should have kept them. Nope. Damn you. All right, bitch, you want to play? No, I can do it. One more. Ha! Ah! Oh. He's not gonna kill me, you understand me? Ah! What the fuck? Jeez. There we go, god. Eat my foot long, bitch. Yay, we got the boss battle badge. Man, I was really close to dying. Oh! At last, the squeaks are inside and Kirby is closing in. With my little rectangle, oval mouse feet. It's, not, it's more like elongate or something. His precious shortcake is within reach! What in the world? Mennonite swoops down and nabs the treasure! He has beady little eyes in this game. I'm glad they made him bigger. <laughs> in a flash, he sails through the star door, leaving Kirby behind. The star door will never open without the five star seals. Well, bitch, guess what? Kirby carefully places the five star seals in the door and... The lock breaks and the star door opens. Now for the cake and everything turns gold. Gold! All right, so level seven has opened up for us. World seven! World seven has opened up for us, so you cannot access world seven until you've gotten all of the five star seals. So yeah, that's what the five star seals were for. Anyways, 
next time on Kirby Squeak Squad, we're going to be doing, or we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be, we're going to be going into World 7. <laughs> I was trying to find the right words. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and see you guys later.